Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another new the drugstore video for you guys today. So fun. I love doing these videos. I say it every time just because I love, love, love making these videos. So I have got things to share with y'all from mostly Revlon and I think I have one thing from Milani. So what I like to do is share some quick information on these products, claims, things like that, and then let you know my thoughts and mini reviews on these products of kind of what I'm thinking about them so far. So yeah, if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do these kind of videos, favorites. Um, I was about to say no to the drugstore. That's what this is. No, uh, get ready with me's, reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it. If you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while, I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we were chatting about some new drugstore goodies, so let's get to it. Okay, so first off, this product. This is the Revlon Illuminance Serum Tint, and I got the shade 117 Light Beige. It says Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So some, some info on this. Here is the outside box. Here is the product itself. So it is a like a squeeze kind of a packaging to it. So it says light to buildable coverage, instantly and visibly enhances complexion, reduces dark spots after four to eight, four to eight weeks, infused with skincare ingredients, SPF 15. So it has ginger root extract and vitamin C and E. Um, anything else? It says makeup and improves skin. Do -de do do do. And I found a graphic. I was kind of wonder. I was trying to figure out the difference between these two because I really really like this also the Revlon Luminance Skin Caring Foundation. So I was like trying to kind of notice the difference between the two using them. But I found a graphic on Amazon comparing them. So this one it says. Enhances complexion, light to buildable coverage, soft satin finish, ginger root extract, vitamin C and E, and 16 shades. This one it says, boosts hydration, medium coverage, naturally radiant finish, 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid, and 28 shades. So larger shade range in this one. And it says, more coverage with this one and more of a radiant finish with this one. I like both of these, but I think I might like this one more. Um, even though it's lighter coverage, because I really like the coverage on this one, it's slightly less radiant. And I think the texture is just slightly creamier. This is a little bit more liquidy. And because this is more radiant, I feel like this one kind of gets into my skin even more. A lot of radiant or dewy foundations kind of sit on top of my skin. This one really doesn't do that. Like it really kind of gets onto my skin. But this one's even easier to blend. It's just lighter coverage. <laughs> So, I mean, I would say light to buildable to medium sort of coverage, but really pretty. I would say the main thing is I do wish there were a shade option that was a little bit more on the pink or neutral side. These are both a little bit yellowy for me, but I can still make it work. And I just, I love the look on the skin. It's very skin-like. It wears pretty well. I do get a little bit shiny with it, but nothing major. And I don't feel like it like breaks down on my skin or anything. It just has a nice kind of like, skin like look you know it doesn't make my skin look oily or dry just like you know more kind of perfected ish skin i really really like this my battery's flashing at me but we're gonna keep going until it shuts off okay i got a couple of these these are the revlon illuminous gel serum blushes so i got the shade 110 enchanting mauve and 120 Striking Rose. I'm actually wearing both of these. More of this and a little bit of this bright shade. I really like these too. It says, sheer buildable cheek color, delivers a healthy looking glow, formulated with superfood complex and glycerin, hydrates all day, glides on smoothly, blends easily. It says sheer color that visibly plumps and hydrates. Superfood complex and glycerin. Yeah, we already said that. Anything else? Um, do, 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 do. I think that's pretty much the gist of it. A healthy looking glow and provides a dewy finish. Okay, and then it says sheer to buildable shades. So these two shades, let me show you. It's a squeeze tube, sort of an applicator on it. And it says, I mean, yes, I would say this uh, lighter shade, this kind of mauve shade is definitely on the lighter side. Formula wise, I would say that this is that's a big old swatch. It's almost like a um, almost wet gel sort of a texture. So I personally find that I like this shade better than this one because the mauve shade I have to build up more. 
and as I build it it can kind of lift what's under it just because of the nature of it being kind of a more um, gel liquidy or something sort of a texture to it and you can see that this one is just a lot more sheer and a lot more glowy this one is more almost like satin looking and obviously a deeper shade so this one I have to use just very little product and then I'm just it's just very easy to blend but I like the look on my skin so I started with this shade and was like oh my goodness I love this so much and then I got this one and I'm like ooh it's not quite as easy to blend I'm kind of having to build it up and it's kind of moving my makeup underneath but it's because I was having to build up the color so personally I love this one no blending problems with this one really really love it this one not so much so I, I would you know that's kind of like seems like it kind of depends on the color a little bit but this one huge win I love this then I got a mascara this is the Revlon color stay extension air lengthening mascara and it says two times longer looking lashes up to 24 hour wear. I got it in blackest black. I have this on my lashes right now. Here's what the packaging looks like. Very pretty packaging. I think this is really pretty. Very unique brush. Um, it's got like these little grooves in it. You can kind of see as I turn it. So I like the non grooved side more. The grooved side, I don't, I don't quite get that. Like I was kind of, I don't know but I like that I could get like right at the root of my lashes with this applicator like somehow I, I was able to really get to it okay so it says two times longer looking lashes serum infused pro vitamin b5 nourishes extension like length and durability up to 24 hour wear with adaptive flex technology tapered brush defines every lash um, non clumping application flexible bristles fan out lashes and stretch lashes upward so I feel like I say this all the time mascara is so personal preference it depends on what are your lashes like what are you looking for your mascara to do how many coats do you like to apply of your mascara like I apply a lot so I like a formula that builds on itself really well and I am looking for volume primarily then length and I just like that like fluttery super volumized vavoom lash look and this one like it says, it's definitely more on the length side. So if you are looking for a mascara that really builds a lot of length, you may like this mascara. This doesn't give quite enough volume for what I'm looking for. Um, and I like a mascara that really builds on itself well because I apply a lot of coats of mascara. I don't know, I just do. This one I found if I let the in-between coats kind of get a little bit tacky, then it built on itself better because when I wasn't letting it dry just a little bit, it was getting very clumpy. But again, I was kind of probably pushing it beyond what it's intended to do. So overall, I think this is fine. It's not my favorite because I like more volume, but if you're looking for a lengthening mascara, you may really like it. And this is what it looks like on my lashes. You can kind of, you know, see it on me right now. Overall, I think it's a pretty good lengthening mascara. Then I got a couple of these, the Revlon Colorstay Multiplayer Liquid Glide Eye Pencil. And it says all day wear, line and blend and diffuse, no tugging, ultra smooth glide, blending brush. And it says, I think it says waterproof. It's hard to see. It's kind of like under the product. So I got two different shades. I actually have both of these on right now. I got high stakes this is what it looks like so it's a gel pencil on one side and then kind of like a brush on the other like a flat sort of a brush on the other side so i got high stakes which is a beautiful very deep brown so i'm going to show you like it's super creamy i'm going to show you a swatch like this and then kind of like you can see how much this blends it's a very creamy formula very creamy um, so it does not tug on the eyes at all and a little bit goes a long way with it especially if you are going to diffuse it out with the brush just use very little product because it just goes so far so let me show you again this color is the black color this is well it's kind of like a gunmetal um, this is checkmate checkmate so here is this one you can kind of see how it just really blends out I like this I like how it really glides on um, main thing just don't use very much product otherwise I mean just because it's so creamy but then once it sets it seems like it wears well I like this color I would love if they added more to the line like maybe a lighter sort of a brown 
but diffused out that's a really pretty kind of like bronzy chocolatey brown i i really like these i think they're great and revlon added more shades of their super lustrous lipsticks i love these if you love just a good classic lipstick that's really comfortable and creamy and flattering looking on the lips i just really really like these they are good so i got several of the new shades let me show you some swatches i love this classic packaging too so cute so i got fire peach let's see if i can let me swatch these real quick look how beautiful these all are just so creamy and richly pigmented and just such an amazing formula oh i love it so fire peach this one is fire peach next up is daylight delight daylight delight really pretty kind of brown neutral shade this next one is the one I'm wearing and this is going to be a new favorite color uh, lipstick for me I love this so much this is just I can tell this is going to be one of my go-to favorites this is candied rose candied rose and I think um oh it's still a cream finish i almost said it's a pearl but no it just has a lot of like hydration and kind of shine to it candied rose so good then uh, my hair sticking to me then electric melon electric melon kind of like a raspberry fuchsia sort of a color and then wild saffron just a really pretty kind of like orangey red so good if you love a good cream lipstick these are amazing and i love these shades that i got so pretty okay let's switch over to the milani product that i have to share with you and then i'll go back to another revlon product for the last thing i have to share with you so these are the milani color fetish hydrating lip stains and i'm wearing this shade right now which is pink about it these are really an interesting product and i am a big fan of them so it says lip color goes low maintenance with color fetish hydrating lip stain made with hydration rich Hyaluronic acid and plant-derived squalene. This cushiony, high-comfort formula applies with a glossy shine that then transforms into a semi-matte tint as it dries down. The never-sticky, non-drying formula delivers up to eight hours of stain power, hydration, and comfortable wear. Say hello to your Lazy Girl Lip Era. And let's see. Semi-matte stain, lightweight formula. do 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 um yeah that pretty much tells it right there yeah okay so i got three different shades pink about it let's look at that first here's what the packaging looks like beautiful i think this is so pretty i love this at the end um it has kind of like a nice my sense of smell is still kind of off but it's like a a nice vanilla sort of a scent to it this is what the doe foot applicator looks like on it so kind of a very classic stain sort of a an applicator to it so we have pink about it that's the first one i got this one is that's fire that's fire i think that's the name of this one so this one is a beautiful red oh my goodness so pretty and then i got kind of a deeper shade this one is bitten berry and I love all of them. If I had to pick a favorite, I would say pink about it, just because I love a good kind of, it's almost like a raspberry pink, it's beautiful. Okay, here are the swatches, pink about it, that's fire, and bitten berry. So these really do, I would say that these are, are like a comfortable lip lacquer, but not super thick. Um, it's not that like heavy feeling on the lips, but. It, kind of like a lip lacquer gloss that has a stain to it. So really pretty, and I would say it's low maintenance and it's comfortable, because it starts out with this really nice glossy look on the lips, and then it sets down to that satin finish like it's describing, and then you've got that nice kind of staining underneath. It just wears so well. Um, really the only thing is, you know, if I'm wearing a deeper color like this, it's not like it's transfer proof for sure. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's more that glossy. It's not a, it's not a, like a transfer proof stain. So might be a little bit like, Oh, is that going to get on my teeth? That would be the only question, but I love how it looks on the lips. I love how comfortable it is. I really like how it wears. You can blot them down and then you've just got that nice kind of immediate more satin matte look. And then you've got that longevity. They're just so good. I am a big fan of these unique formula that seems really good. Okay. And then last up another Revlon lip product. This is the 
Revlon Colorstay Limitless Matte, and I got two different shades so far. Let me show you the doe foot applicator on it. It's kind of an interesting shape. It's like a scoopy, but then it's almost triangular shaped. It's really kind of different, but I like it. I feel like you can get pretty good precise application with it. Okay, so let's read some info on these. It says, more is limitless. Revlon Colorstay Limitless Matte Liquid Lipstick at last a comfortable 24 hour, 24 hour matte that gives you more of everything. It's made with 100% vegan ingredients, has a non-tightening formula, and is suitable for sensitive lips, lips. Plus, it delivers vibrant color with just one swipe, formulated with triple hyaluronic acid and upcycled cranberry extract. No budge matte, non-tightening formula, lightweight feel with adaptive flex technology for more comfort, more comfort and flexibility. Protect lips, it talks about the ingredients. Um, one step application, 16 limitless matte shades. Okay, so the two shades I got, Strut, right there, and there's still some of the Milani stain underneath that, so don't mind that. Strut, and then this is the one that I am wearing right now, which is Manifest. Manifest, so you can see them both there. So this is more of that liquid lipstick formula, but I would say it's a comfortable liquid lipstick formula. So definitely has good staying power, especially as it kind of sets on your lips. I like the applicator on it. Um, it overall kind of feels like nothing on the lips. Um, here's what I'll say. I think it's a better version of a liquid lipstick that it feels a little bit more comfortable. And as it wears away, it doesn't do that there, not there line. Now these colors are pretty close to my natural lip color. So I find that the more close to my natural lip color, a liquid lipstick color is, the less I notice that they're not their line, but this does seem to wear away a little bit more evenly, which I really, really like. So I'm not a huge liquid lipstick person, um, especially like a matte one, but I overall like these for what they are. I think it's a good version of a liquid lipstick. Okay, so those are all the goodies that I have to share with you in this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what you think about these products. I would love to hear your thoughts on them. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!